That's the stupid enemy that we have. That's all he can do. He's try to fuck with your head. Because he's not a real man. For the first time in their history, they're going to face one. Soon, my friends. We're going downtown to the core of it all. To the core of it all. Now that everything is nice and clear. As soon as I look that way The takedown is just around the corner. Let's see if there's a lawyer with a pair of nuts in the city that will do something about it. Who's not wearing a skirt. I doubt we'll find one. Lawyers are famous for their skirts and doctors. We need both. I get right away. More losers are coming. This loser just walked in. We got another two losers coming from the back.
as I turned around, look where they stood so I could see them. Look. Watch how many are gonna come out of the building. Look, he's still sitting there on the bench. Because it's not to leave the area empty for me, look. He's gonna stay there. Look at the bastard moving. Another one's coming over, look. We got another visitor. Look at him moving and take off his jacket. Look at the faggot. Look. Trying to create movement for me. Look. Now what kind of a son would respect a father when he's a faggot like this? Trying to create, sitting in front of people and moving. What kind of a real man does that? Nobody. There is no real man that would do that. That's a man wearing a skirt. Gotta get busier and busier. Look at the car going into the garage over there. Look at the bitch, he's still there so he can move. So he can keep on moving. So I can keep see things move in front of me the whole time. He's not gonna stop, he's gonna keep moving the whole time. Look, come, I'm gonna show you. Look, look how he's gonna keep on moving the whole time. Look, pretending for his son, he's taking his shoes. Lifting this up, lifting that up. His son's gonna start moving. Look at them. He's gonna move like a bunch of fucking little bitches. Look. They're gonna keep on moving. They're not gonna stop moving. The whole time he's gonna move. Look. Look.
over there. Look, we get more people coming. Look, look, look. Look, look at him. What is he doing? What is he doing with his son? His son is moving his legs and he's talking to his son outside. What is he talking to him about in the middle of the night? Look how he's bending over. Look. Look, look, look. Guys, you know what? I'm so happy. I'm the only one in this neighborhood who's got a pair of balls. Everyone else is wearing a skirt. This is what feels good. It's so good to have balls, not a pussy in between my legs like everybody else. Look, 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 they're gonna start coming and coming now, look. I'm sorry to use coarse language like this, but I sometimes I want them to listen to that and hear it, to know what they are. When they do these kind of things, what they become. Look, look, look across the street. Over there by the building, look at them. Walking towards the building and looking at me, look, look, look. Look, they're, they're, him and his son, they're gonna act like goofs over there. Look at the guy in the red shirt running over there. I hope you guys can see because the lights are in the camera. The, in the afternoon, there were lights in the, ca the sun. You could barely see the video. Look, look, look at his son now. Look, what is he doing? I'm going to prove to you how they sit there and create movement for me. Look, what more can I prove? I've proven it, proven it every day for the last four or five months. It's okay. We have a couple more days till we hit the scene. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. What are they doing? They're just moving. That's because they don't want to leave me alone for one minute at night in front of my building. Look, look, look. Not one minute. Look. Taking his sweetest time to spend. Look, look at him. Look at him. What kind of a man acts like this? <clears throat> look, look, look. Look, look. Look how they're acting, him and his son. Look, look. What are they doing? Look, 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 look. Look, look, look. Okay. Look at this shit. Do you see what kind of men I'm surrounded with? Do you see what kind of people I'm surrounded with, guys? I respect people like this. That get paid by an agency to stand in front of me and move with their kids. Look how stupid they are. Look, look how stupid they are. What do you do? You can't get angry. <coughs> But it's good to give out those words sometimes, so they know what they are, even on video, you know? It's amazing. It's, what happens to you guys outside when you walk around, you're feeling all nice and just, you know, uh, in a good mood, you want to get out there and do things, you have them all recorded in your mind, they're playing over and over again till you get to the place and start doing them. This completely takes that away and it puts you down. It fills up your head with junk. If your head gets filled up with so much junk by the time you get to your destination, you don't want to do anything, you just want to relax. And if you get to the destination and it's worse than this, especially the people that are working inside are doing the same thing, pacing back and forth, moving, slamming coins if they're in the bank, noise, and people talking loud and laughing. And Guys, it becomes a... It takes away from everything that you want to do. It just fills your environment, your head, your inner, everything with garbage. Garbage, garbage. This is what this is, complete garbage. Like, look at this right now. You could think, you can reflect, you could relax. Now they have someone way down there walking up on the street. Now they're going to have a car come in. Look, look, look. This will go on and on and on here. As long as I'm sitting here, it will go on all night. I'm not kidding. I hope it's still recording this video because they can't look. There's another one walking in. It will go on all night, all night. And the beauty of it is, is when you get to a point and you prove to them there's no result out of it. You have this big, huge number of people that are trying to work against you. And it's not working. It's not doing anything. 
So, I mean, if I was working on something and I saw that there's incompetence, 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 no result, no result, over and over again, man, that's depressing. I'd give up. But because they're not doing it to win. They're doing it because they want the paycheck from the government. That's the difference between when you do something from your heart that belongs to you or you're just employed. There's, they come out with the planes now. Look, look, look how pathetic they are. Look, look how stupid they are. Look, look, look. Look how stupid they are. What a waste of gas. Poor Canadian taxpayers. You know what I mean? They're wasting people's money, man. People work hard here and pay taxes. Look what they're wasting them on. To create some stupid show, trying to pin down a guy who's not getting pinned down. That's how pathetic they are. That's your intelligence agency in Canada, by the way, CSIS. They're pathetic. I don't have anything against them. They're attacking me. They're preventing me from moving forward illegally, and I'm an innocent Canadian citizen who hasn't committed any crime. This is not based on any grounds. By the way, this has been happening to me for over 23 years, guys. So it's got nothing to do with newer laws, they'd say after 9-11 or whatever. It's all bullshit. They started doing this to me in 1997. This has been happening to me for 23 years, believe it or not. That's why I dove into a huge depression. That's what happens to you when your environment's like this, filled with junk. You get depressed. Because junk depresses you. You know, that's what happens to you. When people are walking talking machines, or their radio's on, or their phone's on to create talking for you. I mean, when women talk too much, you tell her, shut up, bitch, stop talking. Excuse my language, but, you know, I really wanted them to hear this word, that that's what he is. Nobody should ever say that to anybody, if it's on, you know, on regular life. But for these people, they need to hear that doesn't matter whether they're women or men it's got nothing to do with gender they're just really low nasty people that don't know how to make money off anything else look guys if you have to sink to this level to earn a living it means you can't earn a living of anything else because if you could you wouldn't do this it's such a low nasty job this is for the scum right at the bottom of the swimming pool right at the bottom who else would do this kind of thing if you think about it? Who else? Who else would lower himself to try to annoy somebody who already knows what's going on and he's swearing at them, spitting at them because they're attacking him? Who would want to do this to lower their value? So obviously people that do this, they have no value to begin with. No morals, no brains, nothing. Anything for a buck. Otherwise they wouldn't do this for a living. But then again, this is why you relax and you ignore them because you can't, you sink to their level to deal with them. You don't want to sink to their level. And in the end, they're just dumb, weak human beings. You can't really blame them for what they're doing. They have no other way of making a living. If they did, they wouldn't do this. Tell me if I'm not talking common sense here, if I'm not making any sense with what I'm saying. So this they use this to try to this affects you a lot guys especially when you don't know what's going on and just you get out on the street and you just see this you're being attacked you're being pretty much pushed back into your home that's exactly what this does to you when it's in big numbers it pushes you right back in especially when the agency who's that's doing this to you is blocking you from getting a job out there when i was in my late teens early 20s that's what they did to me why do you think i bought a laptop and I started designing websites because it was the only job that I could get. And I was a very intelligent, young, you know, handsome guy. I had nothing, pretty much everything going for me. Why couldn't I get a job? Some places purposely hired me. And then two days later, after I bought the uniform, they said, no, you need experience. They changed their mind. So the screwing around with me started early. But back in the days, I never paid much attention to it. After I got depressed because they couldn't, I couldn't do anything. And then I got home, my own parents were doing this to me, my own mother and fake mother and fake brother were doing this to me, same thing, moving and, you know, you get more depressed if you don't understand what you're being attacked with. You have to see it. And in order to see it, you have to live another life. If you've lived the life that I have, always moving around me, look at that girl with the shorts inside the lobby over there because she's got short shorts on. 
she's walking back and forth, back and forth. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. This is a pathetic, filthy enemy who takes young girls that are 18, 19, 17. Some of them are 16, guys. There's a young girl in my uh, floor. She's like, I know her parents. I've known her since she was like two years old. And she's 16. She, they gotta dress her up with really small shorts. When I get to the elevator, she bends over to look for something on the bike. I mean, this could have been my daughter if I wasn't imprisoned. You know? Look how nasty and filthy this agency is. What it's doing. Filthy, filthy agency. They're trying to use, you know, things like that in order to break someone. It's pathetic. Especially someone like me. They know all about me. They've monitored me all my life. They know that something like this doesn't work. But they keep on doing it. Because that's the problem with psychopaths. They will still always try to do 4 plus 4. They want a 5 out of 4 plus 4. And because they've gotten it earlier on. Because I was sleeping and my own family went against me. My so-called friends. It was all fake. So now they think they can keep make it happen again. They don't know that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. And they're going to see that soon. Very soon. You know what I mean? So, once you understand the quality of people that you're dealing with, and once you understand the quality of this entity that's ordering these people to do these dumb moves, then it'll be a walk in the park. You'll beat them. Because you know what you're dealing with, what you're confronting. It's very simple. You'll beat them. You'll beat them bad. Beat them not in terms of doing anything bad to them or revolting or anything like that. No, just getting them off your back. Not to stop you moving forward anymore and surveilling you and annoying you on the street and, and uh, being in the coffee shop where you go and being at the workplace and being there and being there and being there trying to make your life a living nightmare. Once you understand how weak they are and vulnerable, that if you follow the law properly and use the law, the Canadian law against them, you will win. Believe it or not, the law will actually be on your side. Look what they get their kids to do. Look, look. Look what they get, get their kids to do. Look at that. I mean, they walk around with a loud radio or the phone on speaker. Look, look how old she is. She's like 50. Who does that at that age? Who does that? If you're 50 years old and this immature and pathetic, how could you blame these people at 50, man? 50, guys. She, I know this one. She's like 50. But they don't care. Those words don't affect them. They have no pride, no dignity, no self-esteem to begin with. Nothing, nothing. All they have is a nice paycheck that they've been getting used to because they don't know how to make that money in any other way. They have no talent. They have no education. They have nothing. So you got to put yourself in their shoes. If they weren't low lifes to begin with, they would not listen to a low life like the one who created this for me. Regardless whether he was high up the ranks. Not everyone that has money is, is a valued person. It's a low life who did this. What kind of person would invent something this stupid? But it doesn't matter now. All those words are not going to change anything. Now what's important is... We're going to follow the law and nail them that way, the proper way. I'm actually going to start taking steps forward for the first time in 10 months since they've started heavily attacking me since I've woken up. I've been doing nothing but defending and trying to grasp the situation and understand what's going on. Understand what, what I've been hit with. you got to remember, if they weren't attacking me with all those people and all that continuous noise 24-7, I would have been at this point two months after I've woken up or maybe a month all that delays it because you can't concentrate you're always stressed out and worried and thinking about other stuff and you know everything starts to get to you when you get weak noise drains you you get weak then anything gets to you even the smallest type of psychological warfare gets to you because you get weak when you're strong you're content you're not necessarily content but strong and 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 and, and relaxed and firm None of these things get to you. Look at them, you laugh at them. This is why I don't like to mention them much in my videos because you have to be at a weak point for those things to get to you, you know? You can't, they, 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 they won't get to you if you're not weak. So now they're turning on and off lights over there in one of the apartments everywhere. Every time I turn, look, see, it's over there. It's pathetic. Like, look what, it's just like playing with a bunch of kids. 
be, but the problem is there's too many of them. It's everywhere I go, guys. I've seen over 20,000 in one day once. I remember I, I left here. It was last year. It was winter time, and I had uh, I had downtown, and from downtown to the West End, I was taking subway, streetcars, you know, and they just replaced the whole way for me from my own apartment through my neighbors all the way down at the bus stop all the way down to the west end guys all my trail all of it and all the way back here to the apartment all of it so yes they are a bunch of immature kids if there's five or ten of them you just laugh at them but you're being constantly surrounded with them over and over again with different ones so it's about 10 20 000 of them but the idea where is to actually get to this point 10 months later I've proven to them that even with a hundred thousand nothing's gonna change I'm still gonna be cool I'm not gonna get provoked I'm gonna move forward I'm gonna wake up some more and I'm gonna beat you in the end and the end is near my friends and this is the beauty of it to show that even if you've had an unlimited amount of numbers of incompetence they will not equal to one competent one because it's not the number of incompetence that will equal to one incompetent one you have to have competent ones there to equal to him or to beat him you can have a zillion incompetent ones you won't get anywhere it doesn't matter it's not the number this is what I'm gonna prove to them soon all right and that's the beauty of it you know, that's the beauty of it. To show them that it could be all these zillions of people that they're trying to pin against me. Zillions and zillions and zillions, they still won't do anything. Because I'm only one man. And I'm beating them and I will beat them and beat them and get to the end and get my freedom. From this evil, slaverish life that they've given me. Which started with my own fake family that adopted me. It was, a, I guess, a Freemasonic agency that went and picked me up from an orphanage and gave me to this family that I had. They were Freemasons. I never knew any of this stuff until I woke up last year. Looking back and calculating the events is the only thing that makes sense. And pretty much they've given me this life. And then when we came here, I got to a certain age. Then CSIS here in Canada pretty much picked up after the Lebanese agency stopped since I got here since 1990. So this has been happening to me from 1990, not like this at first. It got tight like this after they saw that they've deprived everything out there. I was isolated at home. They were doing this to me, and I still went and picked up a laptop, learned how to web design and do everything on my own in about two or three months, put up websites and started making ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month. That's when they went nuts. They said, this guy's got to be stopped or he's going to come out of this. And that's when they did this to me, then they introduced me to drugs, and I was pretty much, guys, I was gangbanged by everybody around me. My so-called fake friends, my own family, everybody, everybody. My whole entourage. I was the only one alone, pure alone. A young, you know, man, sort of teenager, getting to his 20s, and just a big circle of, you know, uh, it was kind of like a, uh, they hung me. They put this, you know, thing around my neck and they hung me. And for some reason, miraculously, I survived all these years, you know, 15 on drugs. I guess I needed them for after what they did to me. But miraculously, miraculously, I survived and I got to a point where I woke up and I realized everything. And since I've woken up till today, 10 months ago, I've been doing nothing but winning. But from within this jail. So now, guys, we're going to do the big win and come out of this jail. And show the world that one man can get an intelligence agency off his back. One man, by, on his own, by himself. Because if he can, then what is he showing the world? That they're not really intelligent. It's just a name. They're filthy. There's a difference between being intelligent and being filthy. They're just filthy and dumb. And that's what I'm going to prove to the Canadian government. Because I love this country and I'm willing to follow every single law. And like I always have. But when you have an illegal entity doing this filthy work behind the scenes to an innocent Canadian citizen, I don't care how many leaders they have by the balls, how many people they have in every establishment. I'm going to prove to the Canadian citizens that there is still law in this country. 
and it will rule in the end. The rule of law will take over. It doesn't matter what the entity is or what the agency is. Now, CSIS is known. They've done a lot of bad things in the last 10, 15 years. If you read on the internet, oh my God, the lawsuits against them. It's amazing. From their own employees, they're bullying their own staff, everything, everything, everything. From within that agency, the filth is starting to stink. It's coming out more and more and more. So soon, hopefully, they're going to get to a place where, you know, they're going to realize that, you know what I mean, this can't go on forever. And it won't. So today we found out great things, you know, that were pretty much chipped. We're going to try to find a doctor who has enough balls to write that on a report after they examine me. And we have to find a lawyer who has enough balls to take this case to the courts. Provincial, federal, I don't know how this works. I don't know much about the law. That We're going to find out soon. I'm looking into it, all of it. So, when you look, see, this is, you look at the grade of people that you're dealing with, you can't really be angry. you got to feel sorry. It's called incompetence. If you can't make money out there, you're going to make money the bad way. Everyone wants to make money. So, you got to see it that way, you know. You can't really, you can't really blame them, you know. Most of them can't even speak English, guys. They come to this country from a really poor country. They come here. They don't even know what they're doing. This evil agency picks them up, brainwashes them, and tells them, you can make money doing this. Don't worry about it. It's no problem. It's safe. They don't even know what they're doing. Most people I bump into don't even speak English, guys. Whether their native language is Latin, Spanish, or, I don't know, Filipino, Chinese, Indian, whatever. Most of them, most, there are people that were born here that do do this, obviously, especially on the higher ranks, you know, and there are a lot of, you know, I don't know, white and black people that were born here that do this, that are educated, that don't need to do this, they're just lazy, you know what I mean? So it's a comp it's a combination of incompetence, la laziness, and why else would you do this demeaning job? Where you 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 know who does this? Who does this for a living? Walk on the street to annoy some guy or to provoke him into, into hitting you? What kind of a creature does that? This kind of creature that I just explained to you does that. And do not be surprised that the one ordering these attacks from the top is exactly like them. He just had the opportunity to move up the ranks long time ago. No sane human being with the right mind would do something like this. It's obviously ordered way from top by the elites. That's their idea. It's brainwash. I mentioned this to you in another video, guys. If you were born and every house that you've been to has a red chair, for example, every house, every house you've ever been to since you were born until today has a red chair, usually you wouldn't ask any questions. But then, one day, you're like, wait a second, why? Why? Why does every house I've ever been to have a red chair? Then you realize something's wrong. You start asking more questions, you figure out the scam that you're being put in from the beginning that you were put in. Now, I've never had a chance to grow up from the outside. Otherwise, if I grew up on the outside and this was done to me, you'd realize it right away. That's why a lot of people that talk about gang stalking there, out there, or whatever. But it doesn't work. You can't do this to someone if they're not born into it. You can annoy them, you can stalk them on the street, and some of them are true. This does happen to them. But most of the famous ones that you see out there, especially with a lot of viewers, guys, some that talk about aliens, and some that talk about meaningless things like that, this has nothing to do with any of that crap. This is normal government agency trying to abuse someone because he has a lot of talents and they're afraid of him in the future that he, he may go up against them because he's righteous. Because he wants to do the right thing, the correct thing. It's got to do with genealogy more than anything. Okay, that's it. That's all this is. It's nothing else. It's, so, but they create all this opposition, all these not opposition lookalikes, I call them, around you to bury the truth. Because when there's so many out there, by the time people get to yours, They've already seen, oh, another gang stalking one? Nah, forget it. You know, I don't want to hear about aliens or hear some guy talking on the camera for an hour boring the crap out of me. 
But that's the reason why they make these videos and put them all around you. To bury you. You'll get 500 views, they'll get 50,000. That's how this works. That's how these um, internet websites work, Google, YouTube, all of them. There are people in there that have a lot of control that can give other sites more views than others. They do have that control, believe it or not. They don't do this to everybody, but certain exceptional um, websites, they could do this to them. Exceptional, not good, like uh, exceptions, you know, there are exceptions out there. Certain exceptions, you know, they do make exceptions and do things like that to certain channels, YouTube channels or to certain websites, or they do that. Maybe not all the way from the top, maybe they don't know about it, maybe it's corrupt, but it's being done. So, because I can't really judge, I can't really say it's right from the top when it comes to these big websites, you know, like YouTube and Google. It would be wrong of me just to accuse them without knowing 100%, without having legit proof. So, but it's being done, and from them, God knows where it's in the middle, on top, I don't know. So this is it guys, it's all good, this is, July is the fighting month, we're gonna st actually start taking steps forward legally to see what's going on and how we can get this evil, illegal agency off our backs. This nasty illegal work that they're doing, monitoring me, surveilling me, uh, knowing everything about me, attacking me on the outside in establishments, hospitals, government places, TTC, everywhere private places, restaurants, bars, I can't have a social life, I can't get a job, I can't do anything. They're paralyzing me. Illegally.